I'm Tony. I'm from Middletown, New Jersey. We have a dog named Brody. He's definitely been a lot of fun, but he definitely needs to be trained. Brody has dug up our backyard, chews pretty much everything. When someone walks in the door, he's guaranteed to jump on them. Brody is an awesome dog. We love him. We just need a little bit of help getting him to be a good dog. <laughs> My name is Brandon McMillan. I'm a dog trainer from California. I'm here in New Jersey today. I'm going to help Tony train her dog in seven days or less. Brody's about a year and a half. He's a hound mix. And how much training has he had? None. The secret to dog training is a two-step process. It's technique and conditioning. You do the technique one day and you condition every day. This is how dogs become trained. Brody. Control is the cornerstone of training. So the first thing I'll be doing with him is a control technique exercise. It's pretty apparent he's never had training. This dog has no control. So I'm gonna teach him control right now. This is one element of it. Off, off. He has to either sit or stand there and do nothing for a good 10 seconds, okay? And okay, good. I'm gonna praise because he did so well there. Good boy. All right, so if I open the door, oh my gosh, he's a runner, okay. Door dashing, very easy to solve. All we're gonna do is open the door and then shut it. I'm gonna open the door and then shut it. Now I'm just gonna repeat this process until he starts backing off. I'm gonna open it right this much and the second he gets near it, I'm just gonna shut it. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna praise for that because he finally... Got it. What'd you hear? What'd you hear? When you see him start backing up, that's when you can start opening a few more inches. Okay. And then shut it and praise. Cool. Oh boy, Brody. So here's a big problem with Brody. He's a food thief and he will jump up on the counter. I have this little handy device here. All this does is spray air, makes a loud sound, that's it. Right as he jumps up, we're gonna say the word off followed by a blast of air, okay. okay? Off. A lot of foods are toxic and so that's why I'm so vigilant about this part of the training. Okay, so you said begging is a problem? Yep. Tell me a little bit more. So usually if we're sitting here eating dinner, he'll start to come up on the couch like he is Kinda now. Like that. Yep. yep. And what happens next? He just lunges over me and grabs the food? Uh, yeah, well, he'll try. I'm gonna give him something he does want and actually he can have. So I'm just gonna lure him down to the bed. Come here. I want you to get him used to every time you're eating here. Mm -hmm. I want his bed to be his, what's called the place. Every time you eat, he goes to his place, you give him something to chew, something to play with, and you can eat in peace. I absolutely think we'll be able to do these tips for the next week and work with Brody every day. So far, things are going okay. He was trying to counter surf a little bit earlier and I had to use the uh, canned air to stop him from doing that, but he hasn't done it since, so that's a good thing. We worked with Brody on not running out the door when we open it. He is really getting it, which is a good thing. Um, we also worked again on the control piece so that he doesn't jump on people when they walk through the door and potentially hurt them. Off. Today we really focused with Brody trying to work on his begging. He's not cooperating with laying on his bed. My mom and my aunt came by this morning and he was jumping all over them when they walked in. Today we worked with Brody some more on respecting the door and on not begging while we're eating. Brody has made some significant improvements. There's no more holes in our backyard. He doesn't even look at our counters anymore. His begging has gotten significantly better. Still little quirks to work on with that. Really overall, this was a great experience. I, we love the tips that Brandon gave us. We really think this is going to work long-term. Good job, Brody.